you know, a company like our own for the next couple of years, it won't have a material impact on our, on our cash flows. But what a lot of people fail to understand is just how big the private sector is in the oil and gas business in the U.S. And that's who really drives a large amount of the rig activity. And those guys tend to be drilling with other people's money, you know, doctors, lawyers, and, and wealthy individuals. And so when you start taking away the intangible drilling credits and things like that, you start seriously cutting in to the cash flow, which cuts into the supply of hydrocarbons, which will, when it's all said and done, increase hydrocarbon prices for the average American. My career, I've worked international, a lot of time in West Africa and the, mid, the, middle, the middle East. Um, th that is where the big oil discoveries are, along with Russia. And so, and, and now we've got South America. Our big oil province, one of the reasons that, that we haven't noticed the decline in Prudhoe Bay, which was the big discoveries of the 60s that kind of carried us through into the early 2000s, is that we've had the deep water success. And so, with this drilling moratorium and not being able to bring on the deep water oil finds that are out there, which have tended to be more oil than gas, you're going to see the crude oil imports be the first place uh, that, that gets impacted by what's going on in this administration. The economy itself, I think, very much believe in supply and demand. So if we stop drilling because we don't have as much cash flow to drill with, you're going to see prices increase. Uh, gas and oil, oil because we're importing more gas uh, because we're drilling less. Uh, so the, you got one immediate impact on the economy. The flip side is, you know, you look at the average pay in an oil field job and it's people work very long hours, they work very hard, they get compensated very well for it. So if we, we start drilling less rigs, running, less people needed to follow the rigs, that's going to result in, in less high paying jobs, which I can't see how that helps the economy in any form or fashion either.